Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel, welcome to another day of Vidmas, another makeup tutorial. We are really close to the end now and we are getting super festive. So a couple of videos back I did a Christmas day makeup, it was very traditional, very classic and today I decided I wanted to do something a little bit more fun, a slightly less conventional yet still very festive look but with a little bit of grunge, a little bit of what I love, a bit messy, a little bit of colour, sparkles, something a little bit more, a little bit different you know. And I also want to play on green in this video because I think the three kind of primary Christmas colours are red, gold and green and people always tend to kind of skip out on the green and green is my favourite colour and I feel like it really does deserve its moment so we're going to be doing a green grunge Christmas party, Christmas day where it, you can wear this whenever the hell you want <laughs> look today and I'm also going to be doing it using a full face mostly a full face of products that are brand new to me that I've never tried before. I felt like having a little play and an experiment today, so hopefully the look I have in my head translates onto my face today. So yeah, without further ado, let's zoom you in and let's get glam. So my skincare is on as is the soap in my brows, so we're just gonna get cracking. I think I'm gonna start on the eyes today. So the first product I'm gonna take is the e.l.f. No Budge Matte Shadow Stick in the shade Thrift Shop. I'm gonna zoom you right in because we're doing the eyes. It's like a kind of grayish color, it's a cool tone, and I'm gonna just scribble this all over the lid. Yeah, it's kind of grayish It's quite a cool color actually. And I'm blending that in with my Vive Conceal and Prime brush, which actually I think has a little bit of shadow on it, so it's probably not the best thing to use right now. It blends out quite sheer. It's quite like a nice colour on the lid as a base. It looks just like a bit of a shadow, and I would say it actually has a little bit of a green undertone in it, which is quite fitting for the look I'm about to do. A nice sticky base. Hopefully this will stay matte, like it says. Okay, next I'm just gonna go in with a black coal liner. This one's from NARS. It's their high pigment long wear eyeliner and it's the black one. Um, this isn't new to me, but any kind of black coal liner will do. And I wanna do like a really smoky lash line today. I wanna do like a smoky lash line and then like green diffused goodness. So we'll just, we'll see. So I'm gonna start by just drawing a line at my lash line. I'm not gonna go too thick yet. And then I'm taking like a smudgy brush. And you just wanna start blending so that it's really, really soft. And this is going all the way in as well. And I'm also winging it out a little bit as well and deepening it up. Cause each time you do it, it like blends away a little bit of the, the liner. So you wanna keep adding at the lash line. I'm also going here in the inner corner. You wanna keep adding to the lash line and blending up and then go back in. I'm gonna add a little bit more on this outer corner because I do want it to be a bit winged out because you guys know I love a little wing. And I'm gonna initially pull it outwards and soften it that way and then blend it up as well. This look is all about being like soft and diffused, so there's not gonna be a winged liner, but you guys know I like to elongate my eye. So this is a nice smoky way of doing it. Oh, hang on, my dad's ringing me. He rang me in the last tutorial as well. Hello. Hello, when, when are you off to Taunton? Tomorrow. Is your car thing all right? Yes. My dad was just ringing me to remind me to check my tire pressures before I drive to Taunton tomorrow. <laughs> so this is what we've got. It's like a smoky, smoky wing. So I'm just gonna do the same on the other eye. Gonna try and make them match. Now we're gonna use a little bit of eyeshadow. So I checked to see if this is still available. It's actually on sale on NARS's website. It's like 30% off at the moment. So if you like it, then Go get it now. This is the NARS Climax palette. Look at these shades. And these colors are perfect for this look. Perfect. So first I'm gonna take this kind of nude shade. It's a kind of cool toned nude. And I'm just gonna use this to set that e.l.f. product. Just so that the shade I put down next has something to blend into. Just really softly. I'm now gonna take this gorgeous olive green. I've not tried this palette before, so let's, let's see. Oh, is that the right brush? Okay. Just gonna softly 
blend. Yeah, it barely looks green. It's more like a subtle, it's a very subtle like hint of green. So I'm just setting that black with it and then pulling up. Yeah, this green is really not pulling very green, actually. It's quite um, a lot more subtle. Maybe the dark base is too dark for it to show, but can you see that it's green? A very, 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 very subtle green, but it is actually looking a bit more green now. Do you see? I'm actually now gonna move on to the skin and then I'm gonna come back and finish off the eyes. So I'm gonna double prime today. I'm gonna start with a really hydrating base and then a kind of pore filling base. So I'm gonna start with the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I have wanted to try this for the longest time and I cannot believe that I haven't, but for my dry skin, I have a feeling, Oh. Oh my God, that smells so nice. A feeling that this is gonna be really, really nice for me. Oh my God, I love how that smells. <gasps> wow. Oh, we had a bit of fallout. I'm glad that I did my eyes first because we definitely, oh my God. <laughs> it's not my day, guys. Let's not do that again, shall we, camera? Thank you. You're only my livelihood, you know? It's so dark. This is very hydrating feels amazing so good i just want to keep putting it on gorge 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 my skin feels so soft and it's got a nice tack to it pleased with that so far and then for the kind of primer primer i'm gonna try the rem beauty blurring primer if you don't know rem beauty is ariana grande's makeup brand and i actually have a couple of things to try from rem beauty today oh my god it's blue it's blue and a gel kind of formula I was not expecting it to be blue. I don't know what I was expecting, but I was not expecting blue. I did the um, vitamin face base first because I needed something hydrating before going in with a blurring primer. Oh my God. This feels so cold. It's a really cooling feeling primer. And I'm putting it in all of the places where my makeup creases. So that's my smile lines on my pores, on my nose, on my chin, and on my forehead. Just blending it across the cheeks, but leaving the cheeks mostly free. Do my pores look filled? <laughs> I can't tell if my pores have been filled or if it's blurred me yet, but we'll find out. Look at how dark my eyes are. It's rough, it's rough out there, kids. <laughs> okay, so for my foundation, I'm gonna use one that I know that I love, but I recently repurchased the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, which I know that I love and I've recently repurchased back into my life. I'm using the shade 6.5. I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Oh, I used this wrong color again. I keep doing that, that's so dumb. Okay, well, I'm just gonna keep that on there and use it as like a, a bronzy highlighting base, I guess. I guess I'll just blend it in. Oh, this is such a throwback. It smells so nostalgic. I've not used this in ages it's a lovely medium buildable coverage i wanted to use a foundation that i know that i really like because i'm testing out new concealers and also a new powder today and sometimes i think if i test every single thing brand new like this is new in that it's like i haven't used it in a while um but I think when I test like everything brand, brand new, like I don't know whether I'm gonna like it or not. It's hard to kind of tell what the problem is. Doing it like this is quite nice. It's so dark, I'm struggling to actually be able to see my own face. I'm like struggling to do my makeup because I can't really see. Okay, hopefully that's a little bit better. It's so dark. I just had to get a little bit of artificial lighting because I can't stand how dark it was getting there. <laughs> it was really, really stressing me out. I don't wanna waste the makeup looks that I might end up loving with horrible lighting. I'm now gonna try the REM concealers. And I actually picked up a few different shades because I'm gonna use it as my cream bronzer as well. I'm gonna use the shade medium eight to conceal blemishes and any imperfections around my skin. So let's try it. It feels very, very thick, very thick. Ooh, so any breakouts? Just blend it in. Yeah, it's very matte. Honestly, I don't really know what I was expecting from these, but I was expecting almost like a Glossier or like a RMS Beauty kind of consistency and coverage, but that is like full coverage, matte finish. 
which is making me a little bit nervous about using it to cream bronze. I guess we'll just see, won't we? I'm gonna put a bit under my eye. It's not much lighter than my skin tone. It's actually a pretty good match, actually. Um, but I do have a lighter shade to highlight, which I'll try. I'm also gonna take the shade Light 4, which is really light, so we'll see. Oh, okay, yeah, no, it's very, very pale. I don't really know how I'm feeling about this. It looks very dry on me. I might just try it with the sponge, just go straight in. Straight in with the sponge, see if that kind of moistens, moistens it up. It's definitely concealed. So we'll just leave it there for now and come back to it. I feel like I'm doing a lot of just leaving things there and coming back to it. <laughs> but now we're gonna try and use the shades to cream contour. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous. I'm a little bit wary. So I've got the shade Deep 4C, which is their cool toned. But I've also got the shade Deep 3W, which I thought I could bronze with. One of them is more red and one of them is more kind of yellow. I am gonna start with the lighter one because I'm a bit afraid, honestly. <laughs> take a little bit. I feel like I kind of want to warm it up, but I don't want to take too much. So I'm gonna tap it on the back of my hand. Ooh, oh God. Okay. It's very, very pigmented and very dark and quite red, like definitely a bronze shade rather than a contouring shade. So we're just gonna have to really blend this in. Once it's blended, it's passable. So the joy with using concealers to contour and bronze is that it gives you more coverage. So you cover while you contour which is nice, especially if you've got a breakout on your cheek or like on your contour line. It's nice that you can conceal that while you... Oh, shut up. <laughs> I'm having a day, okay? <laughs> that really, oh, loud noises. It's the neurodivergent in me, okay? <sighs> it's looking fine. It's fine, I'm just not like in love. But now let's do some blush. I have been excited to try this. This is from Rare Beauty. It's their Nearly Berry Melting Blush. I love this packaging. I feel like a warm kind of berry shade could be really pretty with this, with green. I feel like berry and green. Berries and green, berries and green. I'm a little lad who loves berries and green. <sighs> wow, I feel like it could be quite cool. Oh, she's got pigment. And she's not afraid to use it. That's really pretty. It's a lovely berry pink. That's actually really nice. And the formula's lovely as well. And that shade just made me look really healthy. It's like, come out a little bit more of like a hot pink, but it's super warming. Oh, I like that. I think that saved my base. Now we're gonna take a little risk. This is the Rodeal Glass Powder. Now, if you have watched my recent videos, you would have seen I tried the Rodeal Glass Primer and I hated it. So I'm a bit nervous to try this. But honestly, let's just give it a go. But I have to try it at some point. The time has freaking come. I'm gonna use my Makeup Forever Little Powder Puff. I feel like I need a little bit more concealer under my eyes first, hang on. I'm gonna use a different concealer, because I'm not, I'm really, I don't know how I feel about that REM. I'm gonna test out the Pat McGrath Labs Concealer in the shade LM8. I'm gonna put a bit of this under my eye. Maybe highlight my nose with it. And let's see. Ooh, I like that. Now that is a concealer. That is gorgeous, I love it. Such nice coverage. It's so smooth. Yay, okay, now we can try the powder. Okay, uh, taking my little powder puff. First impression, I don't hate it. So this is good. Get it on the nose as well. Oh, so soft. All right, I just did my eyebrows really quickly. I really like this powder. It feels really, really soft. My face feels set. It looks pretty blurred to me. My pores do look pretty smooth. Can you see a pore here? I can't. Let's move back onto the eyes. I'm gonna take the cold liner again and I'm just gonna, let me zoom you in. This is gonna go into my waterline. 
on my tight line as well. And then I'm gonna take that olive green and I'm gonna run that underneath, just smoke it out. And now we're gonna bring in more green. This gorgeous shimmery green. I'm just gonna take it on my finger and I'm gonna pack it in the center of the lid and blend it up. Ooh, just like a little green smoke. Oh, that's nice. And we don't wanna go too dark with it, just a subtle kind of kiss. Kiss of green. It's definitely a different shade of green to the one I'm wearing, but that's fine. And I'm also gonna take that on that shady brush and I'm just running that on the lower lash line in the center. Now that green's pretty, but I feel like I want something like actually sparkly. I'm actually gonna take a little bit of silver. This is the Lottie London um, glitter in the shade Denied. You have seen me use this so many times. And basically anything you put it on top of, it kind of reflects that color. So it's silver, but it will kind of pull out a little bit of the green. So I've just put it on the back of my hand and I'm gonna take it on my finger and I'm just gonna tap it on the center and pull this all the way up. That's much more like it. It really, it needed a little bit more. Like this look was definitely needing something. And as always, the Lottie London is that something. It just goes with every look. I honestly wear it so much. I'm also gonna really lightly run it just under here. Just in the center. And it gives your eyes that like wet look, you know? I feel like it needs something. So I'm gonna take the green. And I feel like my inner eye here needs a little bit of something, something. So I'm just gonna pull it into this inner corner. Yeah, I feel like it needed a little bit of definition in the inner, inner eye. Because whenever something is winging out on the outside of my eye, I do feel like the inner eye looks a little bit weird if there's nothing there. So we're keeping the crease pretty fresh, but just really defining that inner crease. And I've actually put the glitters at a slight angle. So it's all following the same angle. Cute, yeah. I'm definitely vibing with it a little bit more now. I was kind of like not feeling it for a while there. But I am gonna highlight my inner corner and I'm just gonna take this shade from the palette, the lightest color. I like that it's kind of like a cool toned gold. So it's like keeping with those cool tones and it's not too light. It's like got a little bit of smokiness to it. It's cool. Cool color. I'm just gonna use my Benefit Hula Caramel to bronze my skin. I love that Pat McGrath concealer, but yeah, my base, I'm just not, not really feeling it. I think it's potentially down to the lighting. The lighting is really bothering me. Hopefully it's okay for you guys and you can see. It really does bother me when the lighting isn't good because it's like a waste of makeup. You know, it's like a waste of a look. Like you don't get the full effect. try another product from Rare Beauty. This is the Rare Beauty Highlighter in the shade Mesmerize. It's a really pretty pink color. Oh, it's got a doe foot. I don't know why I smelled it. Okay, so it's got a doe foot applicator. That's fun. I'm gonna use my sponge. Okay, you can see where I did the dots. So I'm just gonna take it straight off of my hand. Oh, that's really pretty. Lovely, lovely formula. It is sitting nicely on top of powders. It's super duper liquidy and thin. It just looks so light and it sets matte. I'm gonna whack on some mascara. This is the Diego de la Palma My Toy Boy Mascara and then I'll be right back. Mascara just makes everything better. I feel like this look really needed it. Um, now I've got the highlighter on and the products are kind of sitting now. I feel like the skin actually does look really, really lovely. You could go two ways with this. I mean, there's so many different lips you could do. You could go like vampy dark with this. Ooh, now I've said that, I'm like, is that the route I wanna go? Oh, I think it probably is. Classic Christmas red. That would look really cool. You could just go for a nude. I'll show you the nude option and then I'm gonna do a, a berry. I'm just gonna line my lip with the Cash Rose Nude Liner. Ooh, I love that liner. And then I'm gonna use the Rare Beauty Talented Lipstick. Going for like a warmer beigey nude. 
And like, I think that's gorgeous. I'm just gonna take my hair down. Just putting all of the emphasis on the eyes, a really subtle lip, like stunning. Great little festive look. But if you wanna go a little bit spicy, a little bit spicy. I'm literally just wiping it off with my hand. Then I'm gonna take Rouge Rouge from Vive. And one of my favorite lip products of all time, the Charlotte Tilbury Tinted Love Lip Stain in the shade Tripping on Love. I think this is the most wearable way to wear a berry. It's a berry lip stain. And it just gives your lips that gorgeous tint. And they're so kissable looking. It doesn't transfer. It's not gonna get on your teeth like a dark lipstick, but it's just a lovely like vampy berry shade. I wore this at my birthday party. And that just makes it a little bit grungier, a little bit like, like a hint to a red lip, like a festive red lip, but a little bit cooler. And yeah, it sets completely matte and we're done. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is my green, grungy, messy, easy it is really easy honestly if it's messy it's kind of looks intentional there's nothing too polished about it like the skin is quite polished but the lip is just a stain the eyes are really messy so it stops it looking too done obviously my hair is chaos which just adds to the look i think i was questioning it in the middle there i wasn't sure how it was gonna turn out, but I've actually ended up really loving it. I think it's a really like nice nod to Christmas without being too festive. So yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan. Let me know what you guys think down below. I would love to know. If you're wondering about this dress, it's about three years old from ASOS. But I'll show you it. How cute. And the back is like completely open. It's a little bit like, I feel a little bit like Robin Hood in it though. It's also kind of inappropriately short at the sides. Um, but I absolutely love it. <laughs> I am wearing trackies though. <laughs> but yes, that's me done. I do feel like this video was ever so slightly chaotic. I've just felt a little bit chaotic in this video. Like I've been getting frustrated at things. I hope that hasn't translated too badly into the video and I still hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. I love quite a lot of these products. I absolutely love the face base. I love the Pat McGrath concealer. I love the highlighter. Obviously I love this lip. Love the shades in this palette. Not 100% sold on the um, REM concealers just yet, but I'll continue to play with them and try them. I'm sure I can find a way to make them work for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow for, is it the penultimate day tomorrow? Let me check my, we only have a few days left of Vidmas. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.